Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm down at the Hobby Farm House tonight and I've been looking forward to it uh, for about a week here. I'm going to do a stir fry from some of the garden vegetables. I thought out some venison steak from the deer that I shot last year, so I'm going to do venison and garden vegetables. This garden is going crazy. The one up in Cloquet at the farmhouse, that one is going crazy. A lot of nice vegetables this year. Well, I have the vegetables washed up. I'm just going to get these cut up, and get the meat cut up, and then I'm going to throw it into the wok. Got some dinosaur kale here. That can go in last with the vegetables and it's only going to take like a minute. <laughs> We have yellow squash and zucchini. I picked this little head of uh, cauliflower because I can tell this is not going to get any bigger. This was a real stunted plant. I'm surprised I got anything off of it. So I got a nice kohlrabi here. But with kohlrabi, you want to take the outside off. And then I got some of these snow peas. Some of these are small enough so you can just eat the pod. Nothing worse than cooking some of these up and you're chewing them and you get that string in there. Ruin the whole thing. So when they get to be too old, then you can shuck them. I hate shucking peas. So uh, I never grow. I always grow the type that have the edible pod, but when they get this big, you, you don't want to eat them. So. Then I'll pull a few out for the stir fry. And I have some venison steak from that deer I shot last fall. I wish I would have grabbed a bigger package. This really isn't enough meat for what I'm doing here. At least not for me. <laughs> Well, I have my nice uh, broken stove here, and I put the burner on high. I put in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. So now I'm going to make a a sauce for the actual uh, stir fry. I'm putting in a half a cup of water. It works really good if you've got some sort of broth. For that, but I have none of that here. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of soy sauce. One teaspoon of ginger. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use regular sugar too, it doesn't really matter. About one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil, a lot of the recipes want you to put like all the minced garlic into the sauce and um, this one that I'm doing calls for three teaspoons. I'm just going to put maybe a half a teaspoon into the sauce. I prefer to have the garlic cooked into everything else. I don't, I don't want to chew on <laughs> raw garlic very much. Now we just want to whisk all that up together. I almost forgot an onion because I don't have any of them growing in this garden. We have them growing up at the farmhouse garden. Back 
back to our stove here, heating up that uh, olive oil until it's very hot. When you cook your meat in here, you want to do it in batches so that uh, you don't steam cook it, it just fries. And you're only going to put it on there for just a couple minutes just to uh, brown it real nice. Now that the meat's done, I'm going to add a little more oil. I want to cook up my onions and add in the garlic right now. I'm going to put in about two teaspoons. my kohlrabi and my beans and the little pea pods are in here too. Going to add maybe a quarter cup of water with that. Broth would have been real nice. But you don't season any of this part. You just cook them. Just like with the meat. Just to get them uh, cooked. And this is the part where you do it to your preference. If you want them crunchy, don't add the water and just fry them for like two minutes, swishing them around and throw them up on uh, the plate ready to be mixed in with everything else. At the farmhouse, we do not have a wok, and I do this just in a cast iron, a big cast iron fry pan, and I kind of prefer that. I like to be able to lay this out flatter because you can fry it real quick and get everything browned, and it's real nice. Everything is about done, so I'm going to add the dinosaur kale in there, get that wilted. And we can mix everything together. I added the sauce and the meat and everything back into it. And I'm just going to heat it through and it'll be done. I did, uh, taste test the uh, sauce a little bit and I added a little bit more soy sauce. It wasn't salty at all. And I haven't added any other seasoning to it so test that before you put it in. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Fresh garden veggies. Deer that I shot last fall. It's gonna be an awesome supper. I will see you guys on the next video.